I did a video the other day about uh, wood turning tools and the different metals that are in the tools. Yeah. You got a lot of different brands, but you really only have high speed steel, which is your traditional tools. And then you've got your higher end tools, which is M42 or uh, the Doug Thompson metal. Go check out that video. Uh, I've got my opinion, but and I think it might save you some money and might save you some headaches. Uh, don't stress over it. If you watch my video there, it's a little lengthy, but I think it's well worth the watch. But in that, I said I was gonna go over to the uh, grinders and show you the sharpening systems, and I didn't get to it because the video was too long. But I wanna talk about the grinding systems. And I started out, like a lot of people, with just a normal, slow speed bench grinder. This is a PowerTech eight inch slow speed bench grinder. I got off Amazon when I bought it about six, eight years, about eight years ago probably. This thing was about $120 and, you, and it comes with a 120 grit wheel on one side, which is really nice, and an 80 grit on the other. So this is a really nice grinder for the price. Um, I added the Wolverine uh, Veragrind sharpening system, which I'll do a video on. I'm sure there's a lot of videos on, on the internet, but it's the most popular. I used to have it mounted with the eight inch grinder. I did a turning for about five years with this grinder, uh, sharpening my tools. And uh, a lot of people, when they're beginners, they use carbide tools like the easy wood cutting tools or other carbide scrapers and that's fine but then they'll they'll like me they'll progress into traditional bowl gouges and detail gouges and skew chisels and all that and they will use dull tools they really will think that they're sharp and uh, but they're not actually sharp and what you'll find out is you have to go to the grinder to a system like this and touch your tools up frequently i mean very frequently but you're not at this grinder very long and you take your tool out and you're there for for 15 20 seconds then you're back to turning this this uh cheap 120 dollars grinder i use for about what eight i don't know five six years and it did a great job it really did it did a great job and the only thing, and I think I have it with me, the only thing that you have to have with this grinder is you have to have one of these diamond truing, uh, clean, it's cleaning and truing. So not only is it is it cleaning, it, well, you'll have that, you kind of would be like this on your, on your stone. But this is a diamond thing, about seven bucks or something for one of these. And you turn your grinder on and you just put it up against it. And what it does is it eats away a little bit of this stone and it makes it, it makes it true, perfectly round. And it cleans, cleans up all the gunk so that it makes it to where it uh, cuts really good. And when you, you put this on there, you're not holding it there long. You're holding it for just for a second or two. It cleans this thing up. You get your wheels true. That's the only thing that I, that you have to do with these stone wheels. Um, I ventured in, I, I spent this $120 to buy this thing. And then I decided to go get the CBN wheels. And that's the craze. It really is. It's the craze. Uh, CBN wheels recommended by everybody. So, I mean, you got to have CBN wheels. CBN wheels, that will help you turning. And if you get on websites and you start reading, you'll start reading about how CBN wheels will make your tools sharper. You'll read about how uh, CBN wheels uh, are going to last a lot longer. And you're going to read about how uh, higher grit will make your tools cut better. And then you'll hear about, some people will say a lower grit will make your uh, tools cut better. So some people will say that uh, a lower grit almost under a microscope gives you this like serrated knife look to your tools. And other people say you don't want that and that's why you want a really high grit so that it's, it's super sharp. Okay, I have, I had an 80 grit 
and I cut with the 80 grit stone wheel. I had 120 grit and I cut with the 120 grit. This is called, tur I'm turning, with the 120 grit stone wheel. I bought this CBN wheel system, paid about $1,000 for this system here. Hundred and some dollars for this, thousand dollars for this. This is a uh, Rikon, uh, one horsepower, eight eight uh, gr eight eight inch slow speed grinder. I got the 180 grit on the left side for the CBN wheel. Almost went with the um, 320 grit wheel here. And then on this side, I got the 600 grit, okay? And so I've got, I've, char, I've turned with 80, 120, 320, 600, 100, I'm sorry, 180 and 600. I've never tried the 320. Um, the actual gouge cutting the wood I can't tell a difference between 80 and 600. Um, the tool that that's that's touched up with an 80 grit wheel will cut just as good, in my opinion, as the tool that's touched up on a 600 grit wheel. The difference is that you do not, with the CBN, you do not have to use this. You do not have to true up your stone. So that is kind of nice. Uh, the 600 grit won't, won't make your tool cut better, in my opinion. But you are you're just coming over here and you're touching your 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 uh, tools up, and the 600 grit allows you to not over sharpen your gouge. And so if I take this, I think this D-way or Thompson uh, five ace bowl gouge is about a hundred dollars. I just looked at the price, about a hundred dollars, okay? And I've been using this for several years and I'm kind of a hobby turner, turner but I do turn quite a bit. Uh, I'm getting down, you know, I've taken an inch or, or two off of this gouge and eventually I'm gonna run out of gouge and want to buy another one. Well, if you're, turn, if you're sharpening on an 80 grit, that's gonna be much faster. Even though you're just there for a quick few seconds to sharpen your tool, you're gonna to eat a lot of metal away. I notice that even if I'm sharpening on the 180 here, the 180 grit CBN, it's taking a lot more metal off than if I'm on this 600. This 600, it really preserves your tools. Now, if you, if you need to shape something, if you need to reshape your tool, this 600 is really slow. And so you wouldn't want the 600 for that. This 180 does a pretty good job about shaping. So uh, I think I took a recommendation by Wood Turning Wonders, and that's where I got the CBN wheel system from. And uh, the 180 with the 600 is a pretty good combination. So you shape your tools with the 180, sharpen them with the 600. Um, could you shape your tools with a 320? I don't know. Probably you could. It'd be it'd be a lot, be a little more time than the 180, but not as much time as on the as the 600 would take. But then this is a little aggressive. So if I go put my uh, my tool in this Veragrind jig, bowl jig here, and I come in here and I touch, you know, when you just touch that that tip on there, the 180 is pretty aggressive. It takes the metal off. It's very forgiving over here on the 600. So I would say it's a good combination. I would be very tempted to go with a 320 here and still keep my 600. I don't think I'd get rid of 600 because it's really good to touch up your tools and not eat much of your tools up. It's not that you're making, not that the 600 will make your tools sharper. I do not believe that. After using uh, all the different grit wheels, and turning with them and, and doing it for several years, I noticed no difference between the grit sharpness and how well it turns on a bowl. Um, with an 80 or 120 grit, I can get a really nice, smooth uh, bowl finish uh, that requires very little sanding or none. So, CBN wheels.
Everyone says, got to have CBN wheels, got to have CB wheels. I'll tell you a couple disadvantages of CBN wheels. Um, sometimes I take an old screwdriver or something and make a turning tool out of it. And you can make uh, parting tools and, and things, even skews and stuff out of, out of, you know, cheap metal. And I don't know what a screwdriver is made out of. And you do not, on your CBN wheels, want to use uh, a soft metal. You want to make sure it's at least a uh, high-speed steel uh, made for turning. If not, you can ruin your CBN wheels or at least gum them up. And you'd have to get some kind of a special cleaner for them. And I don't know if you can, but they, they, they recommend do not use a soft metal on these. You can run them. Now, if you use the screwdriver or some cheap metal on these regular old stone, the slow grinder here, you if you did gum it up, you just take this and true it back up, clean it up, and you're good to go. So I would say an advantage of this cheap one is that you can use lower quality metals and make turning tools. So that's a disadvantage of this CBN wheel. What's the, what's the other disadvantage of the CBN wheel? My man, it's the cost. I mean, it's a thousand dollars. Now you can get a wheel for about what, one hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars, and put it on your grinder. Um, but these wheels here, as a hobbyist, and I'm not—I say I'm a hobbyist. I make a lot of bowls, I make a lot of turnings, and I sell them, and um, I spend, you know, hundreds of hours a year, several hundred hours a year turning. And these wheels are going to last me you know, 15, 20 years before I wear these wheels out. So you do not need these. So I don't want, I'm kind of here for beginners. And I don't want you to get on the internet and be reading all the reviews that you, and think that you have to go drop, you know, five to a thousand, five hundred to a thousand dollars to get a sharpening system. Uh, because once you buy this grinder, you're also going to need whatever you pick. You're going to need some kind of a system that allows you to have a tool rest and has uh, allows you to be able to get your bowl gouge into that elliptical pattern and this is the Veragrind system and you know you're going to need to buy something like that which is also going to cost you a, a hundred or two hundred dollars so you've got the hundred two hundred dollars for the the uh, tool rest system the sharpening system and then you're going to have the price of your grinder so you start adding that up, and if you're just a hobby person that's not, you're just doing it for fun. I mean, you, you're gonna you're gonna run up into if you get the CBN wheels, you're gonna have twelve to fifteen hundred dollars, and that's gonna discourage you from getting a sharpening system. And if you don't have a sharpening system, you're gonna be cutting with dull tools, and and that's just gonna frustrate you. That's not gonna work. So you have to have to have a sharpening system. So I really like to point people, if you're just a hobby person and you don't want, the CBM wheels are great. They really are great. But they're an upgrade for someone that's more, more serious, I think. If you don't want to drop that kind of cash, this is a really nice system. Power Tech, hopefully Amazon still has it, or some other cheap uh, system that has a 120 grit white wheel and then get you a, a $7 a diamond truing system. This is a really good sharpening system. Add it with the Veragrind. I used it for five to six years or something like that. And I produce the same quality products as I can produce with this $1,000 um, CBN wheel system. So I hope that helps. Uh, I, I think I titled this video, Hey, is CBN wheels a scam? Well, in a way they are because they're not needed. Uh, but they are nice if you're really into wood turning and you're gonna and you you found out that this is more than just a, a a fainting hobby and you're gonna you're gonna be using this for the rest of your life you're gonna be turning for the rest of your life then it, it might it's probably worth getting the CBN because you don't have to you don't have to true it up all the time um, time will tell if they last as long a lot they say these will last me a lifetime time will tell I, I don't know um, let's hope they do because I paid a lot of money for them. Well, I think that's the end of the video, and I hope this helped you uh, to kind of have an idea of whether you need uh, CBN wheels or whether you should just get a cheaper sharpening system. But uh, I, I was a beginner, and I didn't have a turning club near me, so I'm trying to, to create content on One Woodworking McDaniel style that would help beginning 
wood turners uh, that might be confused about all the different opinions and uh, try to try to cut through some of the marketing and, and try to help you make the right decision for what level of wood turning that you are uh, are trying to do. You know, if you're just a hobbyist and then, you know, you want to save some money, I, I'm trying to let you know what really you do need to spend the money on and what maybe you can get by with, with some less expensive options. Um, Woodwork McDaniel style is a, is a YouTube channel that I'm trying to, uh, to help beginners make those decisions. So if you've got ideas, uh, for other content, please comment, give me ideas of what kind of videos you would like to see. Uh, I would really like it if you would uh, like and subscribe to Woodwork McDaniel style and, uh, share, uh, to your friends. And I hope I can help you, uh, be safe out there and happy turning.